In this tutorial, we'll look at the custom cards template as well as the card link template at SharePointDashboards.com. This template allows you to build your own custom card according to the fields that you specify. You can change the order, change the column widths, and change the overall appearance of this card. In fact, you can set this up to work as a form using the inline edit option. As with the other templates, to start you should check out the other themes just to give you some ideas. As I mentioned, this can operate in a edit mode and you can see where I'm hovering over and you can see if I click into that I'll be able to edit the fields or if you just want to display information in a card you can make it uh, read only. That's up to you according to the configuration settings. You can turn the edit mode on and off with the inline edit setting which is a checkbox in the configuration settings. Of course all the colors and borders and padding that can all be adjusted with the configuration settings in here. At the bottom of the form, you have the option to display the close and edit buttons. The close button will redirect back to a URL that you specify. Normally you would want to point this to the all items view for the list. What you should do is get that URL from your SharePoint environment and paste it into this link if you are going to use the close button. You don't have to use the close button. You can turn that on or off by just unchecking or checking the corresponding box. Same thing with the edit button. The edit button would be appropriate if you're not going to use the inline edit mode. If you want to use the standard out of the box SharePoint edit form that opens in the side panel. Um, so it's really up to you according to what you want to configure. At the bottom you've got a list of fields. You do need to determine how many fields you're going to show in your form and then set that accordingly. This does allow for up to a total of 20 fields and this will support all of the major SharePoint field types. Once you're ready, what you should do is go ahead and grab the fields from your list and put those in. Um, so I've got a list set up and I already happen to know the uh, names of the fields that I'm going to use. I need to type all those names in. Now for the first field that's special we need the title field. So normally you're just going to use the standard SharePoint title field. So you need to enter all those field names and I'm just entering the ones for my list. Whoops, I need to fix that one. You can see that I've got all the major field types in here. Now I just called my field names according to the field types. Of course that won't be the case for you. Um, you just enter whatever you called your fields. Now the calculated field and the image fields, those are not going to be editable using the inline edit mode option. Okay, so I've got everything ready to go and um, I'm just going to copy this over to my SharePoint list. I do want to use the inline edit, so I'm going to check that back on. Um, let's make another uh, adjustment, um, value background color, I want that to be white. So I'm ready to go. I can go ahead and copy my template. It gives me the instructions. And then I want to go to the view drop down, select format current view, and then go to the code screen and save. And there is my form. So as you can tell, I can go in and just edit fields directly. This is a uh, drop down and you can see Unlike a normal edit form, it makes the updates to the record immediately when I update the values. Um, there's the image field that's just going to display the image value. This 
field is a special field. It cannot be edited using the inline edit mode. So you would need to use the SharePoint edit form if you want to allow for the user to change an image field. Um, and then you've got, you see the um, options down below. Now, typically you might also want to use this in conjunction with a button. So there's an additional template which is the card link button, which we'll take a look at now. So on my all items view for the list, I've got a field here for my card button. And this acts just like the hyperlink button. So we'll take a look at that template real quick as well. Now in the case of the card button, the idea is for that to link directly over to that card view. This acts just like the hyperlink button. You can control the uh, text that appears on the button. And then you do need to paste in the URL for the card view into this field. And then it's gonna link directly over to that. Of course, you can configure the icons and the look and feel to do um, look however you want that to look and then what that allows is the ability such that when I'm in this all items view I can just click on this car button and it will take me directly over to the car whoops that went to the uh, all items view you have to um, configure to go to the card view okay so let me demonstrate that real quick so um, this is the URL so I need to copy that and I'm going to paste that in here, everything up to that ASPX part. Okay. Um, I've got what I need there. I can copy the template and now um, I'm going to go back to the all items view, column settings, format this column and I can just paste. All right, so now when I click on this, notice it took me to a filtered view for that item. So this is the ID one on that list. And then the close button, that's gonna redirect back out to the all items view. So um, when you're working with that template, you do need to provide that all items view link so that when you click close, it'll return you back to this view. So hopefully you enjoy that. There is a lot of versatility in terms of how you can make the cards look. And by using this functionality with the card link, you can actually use this card template like a customized form. You can control how it looks and do whatever you want. I should also note that you can control the widths of the column and make them double width if you need to do something like that. And in order to do that, you use a special naming uh, method that will expand the width of that column. I'll just demonstrate that real quick. And the way to do that, you need to use a prefix, which is a number followed by the letters CW and then the name of the field. And when you do that, it will let the template know to uh, double the width of the field in the field editor. Um, so that just provides you some uh, versatility in terms of how that works. So hopefully you enjoy that. This does give you lots of options to uh, set up your own custom cards in SharePoint. Whether you've just got a few fields that you want to display in a card and the user doesn't need to edit, or if you even want to use this like your own custom edit form and be able to control um, all the options in terms of the look and feel uh, with the colors and borders and backgrounds and things like that. Good luck.